This video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. For many of us cyclists, spring is one of the most exciting times of the year. Here in Vermont, it marks the beginning of the regular mountain bike season. After a winter of being cooped up inside, we can finally stretch out our legs. Over the holiday season, some of you may have been lucky enough to receive your first bike. There's also a good chance that the majority of you will be touching your bike for the first time in months. Today, we'll be taking a look at a few different mountain bike products that will help us get outside and take advantage of the nice weather. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist, but I've used them on my own many times before. I took this opportunity to really dig through their catalog and I was generally impressed by the range of products they had to offer. While doing the initial research for this video, on more than one occasion I discovered a product that I didn't even know existed. So with that being said, if there's anything you need to get you back out on the trails this year, you can use the discount code below to get 15% off one full price item. If your bike has been sitting for a while, there's a good chance your cables don't move as freely as they once did. Before we go out and replace the entire cable on housing, we can squeeze a little bit more life out of our cables by periodically applying some cable lube. This ProGold Luber looks like a performance enhancing drug, and that's exactly what it is, but for your cables. The dispenser makes it really easy to apply a small amount of lubricant exactly where you need it, especially to those tight nooks and crannies. Anytime you remove nuts and bolts from a bike that has been sitting, it's a good idea to reapply a thin layer of grease. If you have a tub of grease laying around, you've probably tried all sorts of ways to apply it. A grease dispenser is a more refined way to grease those nuts and bolts. It's easy to use one-handed and does a good job minimizing your chances of making a mess. Tubeless tires and sealant setups have greatly reduced the frequency of punctures. But sometimes even sealant isn't enough to plug up some of the larger leaks, which is where tire plugs come into play. This slug plug kit comes with various sized tire plugs and an applicator to help put them in place. Another solution for flats is a product called Goop. Think of Goop as a CO2 cartridge tire sealant combo. It injects compressed CO2 gas and tire sealant at the same time. This can sometimes be a messy process, but it'll inflate your tire enough to get you out of some tricky situations. And I could see this being a really handy product for enduro racers. If you spend some time on competitive cyclists, you'll quickly see that multi-tools come in all different shapes and sizes. This multi-tool from Park Tool is one of the most affordable ones to also include an 8mm Allen key. While it's certainly not the most refined looking, it's built quite solidly and still small enough that you can fit it in your pocket if you decide not to carry a pack. On the other hand, this Blackburn tool has a feature I've never seen in any other multi-tool. It has all the basics and a little more. Allen keys, spoke wrenches, valve core tool, chain breaker, and even has a quick link stash. But ever since the introduction of 10 speed chains, it's been almost impossible to remove quick links by hand. That's where this thing shines. This chain breaker also doubles as a quick link remover. It's certainly not the most compact tool I've ever seen, but it's the only one I've ever seen to have this feature. Bike stands are something we take for granted until we are without one. I built my current GT Force completely without a stand, and let's just say I won't ever be doing that again. One of the more interesting tools I picked up was this Topeak flash stand. I was hoping it could be a unique solution for those with limited space. It's compact enough to fit in a sidecar pocket, in a drawer, and I was even able to fly it out to Sea Otter with me. It's basically a removable kickstand that mounts just underneath the bottom bracket and that lifts the back wheel off the ground. In theory, this would enable you to adjust your shifting without flipping the bike over. That being said, it was designed to be used with bikes with smaller wheels. With my 27 inch wheel bike, it can certainly work alright for certain tasks, but this would definitely suit some bikes more than others. Speaking of portable tools, this Lazine portable bike pump is easily my new favorite. It's a little bulkier than your standard pump, but it's a far more enjoyable experience when you need to use it. 
this may be a good solution for those with fat bikes or plus size tires. It even comes with a nice flip out foot holder for easier use. For me, I chose this because it makes a great travel pump that I can easily store and leave in my car. Shifting gears a little, let's talk about riding shoes. As a flat pedal rider, 510s have largely been the only shoe I've trusted and recommended for the past decade. Their soft, sticky rubber compound is what makes them grip to the pedal so well. I've tried many alternatives, but they usually fall flat. So when I saw that competitive cyclist sells shoes from a relative new brand, Ride Concept, I decided to pick those up and bring them out to Sea Otter with me to put them through the test. From my initial impressions, not only do they look really good and have stiff soles, their grip seems to be just as good. Based on the name Chamois Butter, you may assume that this is some delicious French butter derived from Chamois goats. Let me tell you, from first hand experience, it's certainly not the best butter I've ever tasted. And well, as I come to find out, it's actually not meant for consumption at all. Chamois butter is actually an anti-chafing cream for those spending long hours grinding away behind bars. It's meant to be applied to the padded part of riding shorts called chamois, and it helps prevent chafing. I can't say I ever remember riding long enough to get to that point, but I'm sure there are some pain cave lovers watching this that might find this product quite useful. If you've been riding for any amount of time, by now you most likely have a basic set of Allen keys or even several. These are honestly all you'll ever need, but if you're looking for something a little bit more premium, let me introduce you to the Rolls Royce of Allen keys. These are the Pedro Master T Allen keys made from hardened steel. They have a spring-loaded ball which allows you to switch from a T to an L-shaped Allen key on the fly. In addition to Allen keys, they also come with three of the most common torque wrenches, as well as a nice carrying case that keeps them all nice and tidy. Functionally speaking, it's hard to say that they do anything better than standard Allen keys, but I've caught myself looking for more excuses to use them, and they certainly feel better in the hand. These are not a must-have, but if you like quality tools, this is worth looking into. One thing is for sure, as you spend more time browsing through the competitive cyclist catalog, you'll learn that there's a product that fits every need. From tools that help you install the perfectly straight star knot, to bike shaped pizza cutters as a subtle reminder to your friends just how obsessed you are with bikes in case they may have forgotten. Competitive Cyclist carries everything I've mentioned in this video and plenty more quality products from the brands you trust. Be sure to take advantage and use the discount code below to get 15% off one full price item. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today, and I'll see you guys next time.